Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Heroes of the Storm here on Dragonshire. To the left in the blue we have Rokat from the Europe and we have House of Oops as Sagara, Chris as Vala, Shadow Mur as a Mur Malfurion and uh, Sok as a Nubarak and then we have here is that Sport Billy as Lyric and then we have the good luck, have fun from Rokat team. And to the right we have Kappa from Europe as well. We have Conti as Ufer, Tommy Say as Keltas, Acer as Sufoy as Seratul, Alstar, Alstar as uh, that's Falstad and the Escape as Johanna. And the game is on and we usually see the fight here in the middle and there comes the blind from Johanna. And we are going to see the middle lanes getting to the middle, of course, before the other lanes are um, kind of hitting each other. It's a poke here, and there, nothing. Maybe, yeah, are we going to get a gank here? Then Johanna goes in, Lyric is very passively up there in the top. There we go, Falstad is out of here, and he's going up to contest Sagara in the lane. And there we see some other people from Kappa moving out there. Is he confident? Acer here in the escape, and Thomas moving down and that's mainly because the lane is empty here in the top and there we go nice turn on Anubrak and yeah there he gets it out and <coughs> Sport Billy here being a bit far out and we are there oh we might have gotten the stun there but anyhow Lurk is a hard pe guy to get down here we have 12 seconds here now to the shrine gets activated for the Dragonshire and so far we do see the kind of roaming here from Kappa with three people we have counted the escape and Thomas. Tom say mm, that's probably more correct. Moving up and down here between top and uh, between mid and bot lane here actually. But uh, yeah, they are giving um, bot lane here to Rokat and moving up to the middle here. And it looks like Sakara Sakara is winning the top here. So we do have the both the shrines for blue here. But the middle is of course controlled by Kappa here. There we go. We do see the switch here. As Acer and all store is controlling the top one down here, and we do probably see a fight down here. Johanna is a bit low here. You see a great line there on Vala and Malfio and the Celtas is definitely a lot of damage, and there he should go down there. <laughs> a bit, pre bit preemptive there, uh, n to be definitely sure. And we are getting some damage here, and that's a nice block there from Acer. And we are deaf. He's getting out. Ooh, that's quite close. Hey, oh, that's so close! And there he goes down from the uh, Ultra Disc. And uh, none of that, it's early game, so they are spawning in quickly. It's a bit of XP for each team here. They're getting some early ganks on here. Uh, two for uh, Rokat here and one for Kappa. The there we go again. The blue have control of the middle here. And there we go, Sagara is moving in here. Is she going to get it? There we go. Nice little stun there from uh, Ufer. And we do see. Ah, there we go. It was so close there, Acer blinked in and tried to get there, but is he going to get out of Valley here safely? Looks like he are, and Lyric is giving a bash here on Falstad, he's getting out safely. It looks like Kappa is taking a heavy beating here in all lanes. And uh, yeah, we do definitely have some damage here done to the towers. And there we a <laughs> nice shot right into that. Nice little blink out there. And yeah, Kelton is clearing the lane here. We are seeing the dragons ticking down here to the right. And uh, health wise, we are really kind of looking good here. And there we go. Now he decided we need to try to get some damage here. He needs to get some help. This is more or less a distraction right now, so his team in the bot lane can make something happen. This dragon have not been that effective uh, as well in terms of killing off towers and so on, but. It is an early dragon. It's a three-minute around there dragon, which means it's not going to be that strong. And it's usually kind of the easier time to handle the dragon early on because towers and minions still do a significant amount of damage to the dragon. And we are laughing looking. Johanna going in the escape. Is that's a nice little surround on Rokat here, but it's definitely turning around there. And there we go, Kassa is coming down here, and that's, uh, yeah, that's a nice little escape for both team to some degree, because some people in the Kappa did, did definitely starting to look low there. And yeah, Felstad and Sagarin is having a blast up top, and there we go, nice little gathering from Johanna and Anubrek's definitely taking the damage. 
We do see Ufer healing himself there. We do see us. Oh, here comes Sarato moving in. And uh, yeah, it's a bit passive here. Vela has a very nice little kite there. Johanna are taking some heavy damage. We need a heal here from Ufer. He has it on Kun. There we go. And the Keltas comes down as well to distract and help out here. Nice little, definitely nice little engagement there from Rokat. And they are definitely doing a nice push here, top lane with Leoric and Sagaras. You see a mid lane XP wipe. You are looking at a little bit ahead here for Rokat. It's basically a half a level here. Almost exactly. Now oh, we're getting a gank here. He is moving in, however. Sagara knows he's coming, and as soon as he puts that uh, Ultra list down, it's always a hard time for the Seratul because he needs more of a burst damage situation, uh, which he do not have yet, uh, and he's not running the Gathering Power Stacking build either, uh, which are definitely punishing him in terms of burst but he has some other abilities which are giving him advantage in terms of auto attacks after abilities and so on and there we go we do have the red here for the top shrine and we are looking at a bit of a nice little camp he captured for the red one they actually needed it but blue have done the same and they are one man more and they actually have a uh, assassin with them as well, so these towers are going down and the XP, there we go, we have the level 10 here, we do see Doing Mouth with Sagara, Tranquility for Malfurion, straight for Vala, Merge of the Black King for Lyric and uh, then the Web Blast for Anubarak. We have it all, Kappa is not far behind, definitely not, they should be able to hit this level 10 soon here. And there we go, Chris is definitely taking the dragon and we might see a bit of a bigger push now because towers are out of ammunition and lanes are actually pushed in quite nicely here for Rokat and Kappa is looking at a heavy defense and we do have the level 10 here for Kappa as well here as they're fighting with a divine shield here for Rufer. A void prison for like oh that's a nice ulti there for Rufer and we are looking oh he's going in ulti and there we do get the blast on someone, no clue, probably the sword. No, that's not the sword. Ah, it was on Keltas. <laughs> yeah, and what prison for uh, to Phoenix for uh, Keltas. Hintron Blast, as we saw there for Falstead. And Blast Shield for Johanna. And uh, that defense actually worked out kind of very close on there for Falstead. Definitely. And. Uh, then nice little, little unstoppable for Rihanna to counter that little, uh, let's call it a throw or a kick. It's probably it's more a kick. We are looking at the. It's uh, basically a balance between some out attack health regen and uh, um, the hammer. Uh, what's it called? Hammer something something. Hammer range for Falstead here in terms of talents choices. And then we, as usual, we see the more common Keltas build there, as always. You do usually see some difference sometimes with the fell infusion on uh, the first one. I think that's uh, what the talents are called. Something like this. Uh, the HP uh, regeneration thing. And uh, yeah, we do see the creep spread. It's quite nice of a creep spread here in the top area, sort of. For Sagara, and there we go. A camp capture, the counter captured here for the blue side, which is Rocket. And yeah, we do have a level 13 there for it's basically, yeah, it's uh, almost exactly one level ahead here for the Rocket. And that all that did nicely stunned Daphne, and this is a nice gank. Uh, Sergio who tried to do a save there, might be some miscommunication there because Falstead basically jumped into that. Void prison, which could have been a nice save, I think, if um, Foster himself wouldn't have ended up in it. Keltas is, however, looking uh, very, very vulnerable here. Gets ulted from Rufer, and we do see the web blast on. Uh, who is that? No clue. Probably Rufer. No, that was Seratal. I need to pay more attention. And yeah, he is getting healed probably by Rufer soon. Oh no, screw that. No, forget that. 
it's not going to happen. Probably on cooldown. But yeah, we do have a spell shield heavily here because of Keltas. I would guess actually that the spell shield might be a kind of a counter for um, Keltas and maybe Falstead as well. There we go, it's the third dragon here for Rokat. And it's going swimming. They are getting more and more ahead here in level. And the forge are definitely going down. And as further of the game we go, the dragon is going to be a more and more of a problem. You can see that 560 around damage there for each hit. And there we go, Seratul is moving and doing some damage early on there. On we do see Fiend is coming down here from Kaltas. Trying to play this defensively. And uh, the damage is not happening that much on the dragon here. Seratul is doing the best he can, at least here from the side. His other teammates were not in the best position to help him out there doing some damage. And uh, yeah, we are soon looking at the devastating level 16 here for Rokat and the dragon here are definitely doing the work down and we have a nice push here with minions and with the creep camp as well. It's the seed camps more to make it more exact. And the yeah, teams are moving around, they're trying to be as annoying as possible. We do see the rest of the team here for Kappa is down there in the bottom lane. They are moving up here now. We do see Falsy coming in as well. And then comes the Phoenix Gen. He has such a short cooldown, so it's kind of key thing to have on this map here. There we go, Johanna is basically jumping in, all getting grabbed in. I actually do not know for sure. Uh, you are out. Oh, that's not a good... Oh, that's close one. That's a close grab there on Sertil. And we do see the healer Scribe coming in on a nice little Void Prison and the follow-up stun, stun from the escape here. However, it didn't hit in terms of the Void Prison being in the way. Seratul so moving back and we do see the still continuous push here from Rokat. They are definitely trying to do their best here. If they get a pick off or two here, this could be a game changing element. And uh, yeah, we are looking at the game and the escape is moving kind of carefully here. Uh, they, are, they are a lot of squeezed characters here for Kappa, so they can't really just go in here. And they only have one melee, rest is range here, if you don't count the support, of course. And oh, there, the escape thing can have then. Acer is moving basically around, they're trying to look for a good opening. And uh, they are definitely some levels up behind here which are definitely impacting them as well here and the two warrior combo here from Rokat is not an easy way there we see the ulti on for Sagaras and this should mean that for Johanna there comes the ulti from Ufer though however and a follow up from that's a nice combination there to save Johanna from a almost certain death here and they are have a moving out here Rokat have finally gotten the fourth down and so on so they don't need to be in this lane anymore. They moving back, are probably going to regroup, get some mana and so on, and uh, try to push middle or top lane. And it's time for Dragon Shrines again, so the next push will be with the Dragon probably here. Uh, and we do see Kappa trying to get ready for this by getting a camp, which will help out uh, a bit in terms of uh, lane pressure during this Shrine phase. And Lyric is already down here. We do see Sock as well being up in the top here. And there we go. Are he going to interrupt this? Yeah, he are. And then we might see the blink out here. There we go. But the, oh, that's yeah. The ult is coming off and Seratul is down. Nice little pick up there by Vala and Malfurion. And in the meantime, I missed definitely missed the kill here on Lyric. Sorry for that. So he will be moving out in the ghost from here and Fossil Tango is a heavy damage here from Vala and Sarag Sagara as well and the Keltas is definitely already low here. We do see Lyric moving around here being annoying. And he will spawn in shortly here. We do have 10 seconds here before he spawns in and there we go. Oh that's a nice ulti from Ufer there on Keltas but he's going down there by the arrow from Chris. And there we go. And Lurk is in the house and we might see an ulti here actually, no, maybe not probably. Uh, but yeah, the escape is down as well and this could definitely be game here, it should be game. If not something drastic happens here for Rokat. We do have a level advantage which have been going on for quite a while here. And uh, yeah. There we go, now an ulti from Sagara on Falstead. And there we have finally the level 16 for 
Kappa. Um, I come to my turn. Ulti saving. Definitely saving. Poor, poor Kerrigan. Uh, I mean, Sagara there. And then we have 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's GG. It was uh, the game between Rocat from Europe on the left side, that's blue, and Kappa on the right side from Europe as well. And we are going to game two. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.